Hello, everybody. Uh, it's the weekly roundup. Uh, I'm Roger Veer, and I'm here with a longtime uh, friend and Bitcoin fan, uh, Joby Weeks. Some of you know him, but some some won't. Uh, Hello, hi, everybody. Yeah. From sunny Monaco, here we are out on a yacht having a great kind of strategy session with the top thought leaders of the crypto space. And uh, of course, Bitcoin Cash is a hot topic here. Yeah, just pretty much everybody here is a fan <laughs> of Bitcoin Cash. Um, to tell me, uh, I think you were hesitant a little bit and you actually have a really interesting story that you can share with people about exactly what made you a Bitcoin Cash fan. Well, yeah, I, you know, I like a number of different cryptos. I like Zcash because it's privacy and Monero and I like Dash, I like their projects. Uh, you know, and I've been in Bitcoin since it was 85 cents a Bitcoin. So um, I've been been around for a while. Got my first Bitcoin on the Silk Road, which we were also discussing today. Does that mean you were a seller? <laughs> no, I actually no it was weird. I had to go like find a Green Dot card and you know get the tour thing, and I had to go find someone to sell me Bitcoin. It was it was a, it was a process. It's gotten so much easier nowadays. But um, yeah, you know, I was telling you the other day what really made us do the leap in terms of Bit Club, our mining pool. Uh, going Bitcoin Cash was uh, in January, as we know, there was a huge run up. Um, Bitcoin hit twenty thousand dollars, but the the transaction times were so slow and expensive. And I had sent uh, four million dollars to a friend of mine, and uh, I showed you the picture. We'll, we'll flash the picture so you can see it. And it had zero confirmations, and the price dropped to three point three million, which means. I was out seven hundred thousand dollars, and I put a fifty-one dollar miner fee on top of the transaction to push it through faster, and it wasn't going through. So I went and called them up, and I was like, "Hey, put, let's push this on the next block." And called, like, called who up? Well, I, you know, miner my buddy, friend, okay. my, my my miner buddy. So let's slow this story down a little bit, though. So you paid a fifty-one dollar fee to start with for a single Bitcoin transaction to start with. <laughs> this is insane. And That's during so the time you were already. waiting, the price dropped. And several hours went by. Before. A whole day went by, and I was freaking out because I watched the the, the four million I sent turn into three point three million, and I'm like, dude, because like you know, I was supposed to give them four million, not three point three, right? So, um, I I call them up, and they're like, yeah, we'll push it through for a hundred bucks, and I'm like, okay, and they're like, a hundred bucks in Bitcoin Cash, <laughs> and I said, what? Wait, I have to pay Bitcoin Cash to speed up a Bitcoin transaction? What? And I just threw my phone down. I was like, that's it. Bitcoin Cash, so <laughs> we've been uh, we've been you know using it. It's fast. It's it's cheap. It's self evident. You know, maybe they they'll come out with a, a friendly way to do it with their Lightning project and all that. But at, it's at, not here at the it's moment right yet. now. It's Bitcoin yeah. Cash, and and uh, we were discussing you know platforms that will plug into the Bitcoin Cash blockchain, uh, kind of like what Exonom is doing, and uh, to to compete with the ERC twenty tokens that Ethereum has, etc. So we can actually launch our own tokens on on the Bitcoin blockchain. You know. So uh, actually, I've noticed with BitClub Network, though, a l sometimes some of your hash rates on Bitcoin Cash, but most of it still seems to be on Bitcoin Core most of the time. Any updates on when we well, see more of that? Switch it's a over? disappointment. You're like so many people say things and then do the opposite. And we've had a lot of vendors. I mean, we set up a, a data center in Iceland. We got one in Georgia and one in Norway. We got some power out of Canada. We're building this one in Montana, um, which is going to be the largest Bitcoin mine in the world. It's 300 megawatts. It's monstrous. Wow. And, uh, but like the guys that like, you know, we send all this equipment and they tell us it's going to be ready uh, and hashing by uh, uh, March, <laughs> then it's April, then it's May, oh, the power company did this, oh, the substation did this, it's all these excuses. And so we've got like $50 million in equipment sitting there and like it's still not plugged in and it's really a disappointment because we would, I mean, as the difficulty of mining goes up, because more and more people are realizing they can buy machines that print money. I mean, why would you want to buy the golden egg? And next week you're having to buy eggs, and next month you're buying eggs when you can buy the goose that lays golden eggs. You know, and that's what mining is: is we're buying machines that print money. All these people are realizing that they can do that now, and so it's making the difficulty to mine uh, more and more uh, difficult. And so that's why we're not we're just not hitting as many blocks. Period. Uh, right now, until this new equipment goes in. So hey, that's what life's all about. It's about uh, you know roadblocks becoming stepping stones, opportunities, et cetera, et cetera. But I tell you what, there's a lot of moving parts in this business. <laughs> so uh, I guess now today though, yourself personally, it's uh, I, I, I met a couple of people here. They said that you helped them get set up with their first Bitcoin wallet and you gave them some Bitcoin. I said, which wallet was that? And they showed me the Bitcoin.com wallet. 
And when they opened it, it was Bitcoin Cash that I you were handing out. I'm so not lying. I want to thank you for that, <laughs> yeah, Joe. Of course, so thank you. Of course. Sure. You know, I, I, uh, it's self-evident. It's way faster and cheaper. And yeah. if you're not convinced or haven't tried it, try using Bitcoin Core. Try using Bitcoin Cash. It's clear. One's fast, cheap, and reliable. That's Bitcoin Cash. Mm -hmm. And Bitcoin Core. And you Core. can do it both through the Bitcoin.com wa wallet, which you can see for yourself. Send five bucks to your friend. It will cost you less than a penny with Bitcoin Cash. Send five bucks of Bitcoin. And it's like... 17 cents or something, you know? It's, it's like 17 times more expensive at the moment. At I, least I 17 did, cents. I did it the other day. I was like, see, it's Bitcoin Cash, <laughs> you know? So don't don't be like Joby using Bitcoin Core in the past and losing us $700,000 uh, because of it. Uh, a bummer. So, so that brings us into the news of the week. We'll chat about it a little bit here. So there's just so much infrastructure being built on top of Bitcoin Cash at this point because it actually works for payments and so people are busy building on it. One of those is a a website called CoinFunder, F-U-N-D-R, dot C-O, and it's like a, a bounty platform, and uh, this guy, Unit Maimon, personally pledged $10,000 worth of his Bitcoin Cash to uh, Bitcoin Cash to open source related projects on the, this platform. So uh, if you want to have a chance to go and start a, a project on CoinFunder, dot C-O, which is a neat one. Uh, another one for those that have been around Bitcoin in the long, you know, for a long, long time, I'm sure you guys remember one of the the smartest developers in this space was a guy named Mike Hearn, who was a professional capacity planner for Google. I'm sure right. you remember yep, his yep. name. Age of Cryptocurrency, a great book that goes over the whole history of you know the beginning days of Bitcoin. And he had a fantastic uh, project called Lighthouse that he was building on Bitcoin, but the Bitcoin core developers intentionally blocked it from being able to do this like decentralized crowdfunding project management stuff, which is just amazing. And it's back and uh, being developed on, uh, on Lighthouse.cash now. It's being built on the Bitcoin Cash platform. It was basically dead for the last couple of years because of the Bitcoin full blocks and bad user experience. And now it's uh, you know being brought back to life on, uh, on Bitcoin Cash. And CryptoCribs as well. Yeah, CryptoCribs. Have you used CryptoCribs yourself? Or? I haven't yet. But I, you know anything that will compete with Airbnb, I'm excited about. Uh, you know, I, I've joined this one called Third Home, which is pretty cool too. But the news story about CryptoCribs is uh, pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, if you haven't tried it, go on over to CryptoCribs.com. It's like Airbnb, but you can use your cryptocurrency stuff there. Although, uh, be careful because there's some other people, unfortunately, that like to target cryptocurrency people for hackings or robberies or things like that. So so be cautious when you use... Uh, yeah, don't show up with your private keys. Yeah, be, <laughs> keep your private keys private. Uh, speaking of uh, you know attacks on, on cryptocurrency users, uh, Zincash had a 51% 51 attack 51 this week. Attack. So yeah, uh, so Bitcoin gold the week before, Zincash uh, this week. And that just shows basically that full no so-called full nodes, they don't protect the network one bit. It's the amount of mining power on the network, which is yeah. one more reason we should see more hash rate come from BitClub Network onto the Bitcoin Cash it's Network. It's coming. And uh, I offered in the past, if you guys need help with your pool infrastructure, Bitcoin.com will run your entire pool for free, uh, you guys just need to point your mining equipment and we'll head it and all the blocks will still be marked as Big Club Network and you guys won't need anybody else to goof around running your pool software. That's So uh, the other Big Club Network guys, uh, Russ and, and the rest of you guys out there, that offer still stands, we'll do it for you guys for free. Uh, only requirement is you have to mine Bitcoin Cash for the hash rate. So, um, next piece of news, so uh, here's a fun one. So uh, apparently a Bitcoin Cash supporter in Virginia Stole, stole a tank. Off, stole a tank. <laughs> and I just saw some little clip of it. Off. Through 100, 100 miles of chase. He had all the cops chasing him and he was driving a tank. I, I think I'll have to spend some more time on YouTube to watch the full video of that. But uh, but I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, some, if uh, you're going to do that, don't put a Bitcoin Cash bumper sticker on your tank. Just <laughs> And so that's an example of a bad thing that a Bitcoin Cash supporter did. But uh, another thing that people are doing, uh, man, they're robbing banks. You know what their bank robbers are using? shoes so that doesn't mean that shoe ma shoe factories are bad companies because bank robbers use shoes any more than the fact that uh, one guy stole an armored car and went on a rampage uh it was a bitcoin cash fan that doesn't mean bitcoin cash is bad either so so uh <laughs> keep using bitcoin cash and keep wearing shoes out there although joby's barefoot here i haven't worn moment. shoes in a couple days so uh another exciting thing is that coinbase is uh coming to japan so uh Coinbase, welcome to Japan. We're excited yeah. to have you there and bring more competition to the space. And uh, Coinbase is one of the, is probably the company that's brought more people in the entire world to cryptocurrencies than uh, any other one at all ever. So, even more exciting. than Silk Road. <laughs> 
be it's it's probably in the same ballpark to be honest <laughs> now that you mentioned it so uh, one interesting well, big club's got a million members so we've brought a lot of people too you guys have and uh silk road if you look at it was probably the most successful startup ever in the entire history of the world if you look at how many people started using the platform in such a short amount of time and how much money the platform was able to earn in such a short amount of time that was one of the, the most successful startups well, we, have to congrat- we have to congratulate drugs for winning the war on drugs. <laughs> so, there's a war on drugs, but the people but on the drugs, drugs are, are winning. winning. <laughs> the people using drugs are winning the war yeah, on yeah, drugs. Yeah, it's, so. you know, it's really potent stuff out there right now. Apparently. So uh, <laughs> another fun, fun thing on the list here is a company called Streamlabs has made a, a tipping platform where people on Twitch can tip people in Bitcoin Cash and a, a number of other cryptocurrencies as well. Um, I'm not a Twitch user myself. Have you used Twitch? Or no, I haven't I, I kind of know what it is, and apparently it's really, really popular with the young people, which I guess means you and I aren't so young I just do Bitcoin.com wallet. <laughs> there you go. Uh, speaking of the Bitcoin.com wallet and Bitcoin.com mining pool and other mining pools, there's this Miner's Choice Initiative, which is basically having different mining pools. Bitcoin.com has joined it via BTC, CoinGeek, uh, Coin and a number of others where they're lowering the dust threshold and basically lowering the amount of fees on Bitcoin transactions. So instead of your Bitcoin transaction costing maybe a fifth of a penny, it's going to cost like a a 50th of a penny or a 500th of a penny. And basically, and some transactions will be completely free, just like Bitcoin was from like 2009 until maybe 2013, I think was kind of the end of the the free transactions because these Bitcoin core people think that no transaction should ever be free, which, uh, anyhow, it's nice to see pools on Bitcoin Cash. Yeah. It's you kind of like what Dash does. It, it, it kind of would, like, you know, you can pool that transaction fee and donate it to a good and worthy cause. You yeah. know, that, and, that's and you what remember, a lot of these miners are doing. I'm sure you remember the majority of your Bitcoin transactions were free for, yeah. like, the first several years you were using yeah. Bitcoin, right? It was a, it was the rare exception in which a Bitcoin transaction actually did cost money. So, um which brings us Got to the another hackathon going yeah. down in China. More than 100 uh, coders over on, on 11 teams had a giant hackathon in China working on Bitcoin Cash specific problems or uh, Bitcoin Cash specific software code. Like all this stuff is happening on Bitcoin Cash, like hackathons around the world, businesses taking it's it out. There's a lot of smart like, people that are getting behind it. I know like Bitcoin Core likes to say, oh, it's just Roger with like three guys that run Bitcoin Cash and we have all the brains. No, no, that's not true. Actually, there's a lot of very smart people that are on this project. And so let's talk about like, so we're, we're on a boat in Monaco with a lot of brain power at this conference. Like there is a lot of brain power in the room here. And I have not heard a single person have anything negative to say about Bitcoin Cash. And these people are, they've, they've said negative things about other things they disagree with me and others, but like, have you, has anybody said anything negative about Bitcoin Cash? I haven't or? heard it. No. I haven't heard it. No. And I've just heard you say, Bitcoin Cash is Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of smiles and cl- clapping yeah. from the room too, so. Uh, which just shows, like, anybody that's interested in, in cryptocurrency being usable as currency is a fan of Bitcoin Cash. And anybody who was a fan of Bitcoin in the early days is a fan of Bitcoin Cash today. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so we have another one. Uh, Chainfeed.org is a global live news feed powered by Bitcoin Cash. Uh, I haven't used it myself yet, but uh, I'll have to take a look at Chainfeed.org. I've, okay. Have you looked? You've looked at Memo.cash? And, yeah, uh, yeah. I actually posted a couple of memos the other day. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to, to post uh, I post on Twitter and I'm trying to post the duplicate content on both memo.cash and uh, blockpress.com I think is the other one or .org okay. and uh, have you seen I that recorded one? our our wedding because the same kids said that we weren't officially married because I never got a marriage license I'm like look it's recorded on the blockchain me and Steph got married <laughs> and, and it isn't directly Bitcoin <laughs> cash crypto related but there's another company a country called Liberland that's being there born. is tell absolutely. us about your plans for Liberland. So in between Serbia and Croatia, down the Danube River, which is a beautiful river that goes up to Budapest and across to Vienna and up to Prague, is an island that neither side has claimed. It's not Serbian. It's not Croatian. So a friend of mine, Vet, uh, went and stuck a flag there and created Liberland. It's the first country that will be on the blockchain. I'm, on, I'm one of the founding fathers. You've been a great supporter of it. And uh, we got a constitution. You can go to Liberland.org and sign up to become a citizen. We're making passports. And it's a really clever idea. And uh, huge fans of Bitcoin Cash at Liberland. Uh, we're working on some cool energy projects and uh, a way for all of our citizens to get d- dividends and mining revenue and stuff. So instead of you know pulling, extracting money from citizens in the form of taxation, by being a citizen, you get dividends uh, in in crypto. So it's a, it's an exciting idea, and I think uh, I think it, you know we've had over five hundred thousand people sign up to become members. So join so, us. So is that other first that you're planning to do? Is that is that private or? Is what? 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we yeah, we were talking about having a, Stephanie's pregnant. She's five months. Five months. That's pregnant. Joby's wife that apparently wasn't official until they put it on the blockchain. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. No, that, I'm still not official because we never asked. We got married in the Bahamas. Never asked for permission to exercise a right. And then, of course, in America, we didn't feel like we needed. Don't need to permission there either. Get a marriage license. Why? Why is it any of the government's business if we get mar- married there or not? You know. So so we never got around to get a license. And so going through St. Kitts. Uh, you know, to get the passports and everything, they're like, oh, you need to have a marriage license, otherwise you're not really married. So I was like, it's on the blockchain, that's about as official as it gets. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so we're talking about having our little baby in Liverland. It would be the first natural born citizen <laughs> Liverlandian. Of Liverland. Yeah, so <laughs> Liverlandian. That would be, we'll, we'll see if your wife's up for it. She looked a little worried about having it in the, in the wilderness. There, so. I know, there isn't a hospital there, but we could do a water birth, you know, there's the Danube River. <laughs> <laughs> to each their own. So uh, next on our list, though, uh, so Cash Pay is a new wallet from the founder of Cryptonize.it. Cryptonize.it is a platform that allows you to buy anything you want with Bitcoin Cash. They handle it all for you. Mm. Uh, apparently, they have their own wallet that lets you buy things on Amazon and any other online retailer right there from their wallet. So uh, another example of the useful services being built on Bitcoin Cash. Um, have you seen the, the Bitcoin Cash Jitney, I think they're called, in the Philippines? Bitcoin Cash bus? Have you seen no, these pictures? No. no. Oh, well, well, there'll we'll be a picture on the, the screen. Yeah, that's the right. Screen. Here they are. And so there's a bunch of them sponsored in part by a Bitcoin.com, apparently, and they're driving all over the Manila, dropping people off and picking people up, and they can ride around. And uh, I just heard earlier this week that there's uh, 65 more of these air-conditioned buses are being ordered from yeah. China that will be decked out in Bitcoin Cash, and they'll be driving around. Uh, uh, more around traffic. China. Yeah. More traffic in Manila. And I, I think it was 65. <laughs> I... Uh, I have to double check. It might have even been 650. It was one of those oh. two numbers. But we'll, we'll put the information here in the video when this goes uh, up. I'm on looking for the so. Bitcoin Cash helicopters when I'm in Manila. That that's a little a uh, little of my taste. But last time I was in Manila, two hour traffic jam just to go for, like a mile. Yeah, well, we'll, that's we'll, so we'll, mad I just got out and walked. We'll have to do <laughs> walking. That you don't have to pay Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash. I just walked. <laughs> so that that brings us uh, to the end of our, our news today for uh, June 8th, uh, Friday, June 8th. Um, a couple of things I always close with. Uh, if you like this content. Subscribe to it on YouTube, click like, may, leave a comment, and then share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on memo.cash, share it on yours.org, steam it, block press, all your social media because that's how we get the word out. And the reason we need to get the word out is because our Bitcoin is completely censored. You are not allowed to talk about Bitcoin on our Bitcoin. So what, what do you think about that, Joby? Yeah, I don't I don't use that site anymore anyways. Um, yeah, and yeah. I stopped as well because it's so censored. Exactly. Yeah. yeah why would you want to just be fed propaganda all the time? Yeah. So uh, competition. Yep. And their competition breeds better results at lower prices. Uh, speaking of better results with lower prices, that brings us to Bitcoin Cash. If you don't have any yet, go to free.bitcoin.com. We have we're giving away free Bitcoin Cash to anybody who wants them there at free.bitcoin.com and share that on your social media. Tell a friend. Share it on on memo.cash, BlockPress, Facebook, All that Twitter, good stuff. everywhere. Except for except for uh, our Bitcoin. I, I actually. Anybody out there that wants to see the censorship, go and share free.bitcoin.com on our Bitcoin, and they will delete your post. And it's not even allowed. They, they won't even allow you to talk about it there. They won't allow us to give you, and their readers free money. Free cryptocurrency <laughs> giveaways are not so allowed on, on our Bitcoin. So uh, anyhow, thank you guys all very much. Uh, Cheers, everybody. Spread out the good word. Thank you all, and uh, goodbye from Monica. Aloha today. from Monica.